In R, there is no need to sort the data before a merge. However, there are still many occasions when it is either useful or necessary to sort our data. For example, we may need to sort our data in order to identify duplicate records, or to ensure we appropriately sequence PK events in a pharmacokinetic dataset. We sort our data using the order function. Let's look at a simple example using our demography dataset demo data. In this example, we start by extracting and sorting the age column. At first, the results seem strange. The order function appears to have scrambled our data. This is not the case, but what has it done? In fact, the order function has produced a vector of positions. In other words, a sort order. These positions correspond to the elements that we would select if we were to sort our data. So, in this example, the first number returned is 13. This means that the lowest value in the age column is the 13th value. The sort order is particularly useful as it not only allows us to order vectors, but entire data frames. Here, we use the order of the values in the age column to sort the entire demo data dataset. When the same value occurs multiple times, R uses the original order of the data to sort the values. We can, however, use the order function to sort by as many variables as we like. In this next example, we sort first by age, and then by weight. To sort by descending values, we simply put a minus sign in front of the sort variable.